Our first guest is an Emmy-winning actor who stars in The Righteous Gemstones, which airs Sundays at 10 p.m. on HBO. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Goodman! Oh! <laughs> ah, yes! Fine, I love this. This is thank fantastic. Thank you, Jimmy. I love this. This is fantastic. John Goodman, thank you for being here, and thanks for being on the show. It is, it is nice to see you. That is beautiful. Uh, that's a, it's a beautiful. Is that your... A living room? Is that where you are? That's a, it's one of my living rooms, Jimmy, yeah. out here in California. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's, a, it's what we purpose it as a dining room and Amazon catch-all. <laughs> uh, what, what's, what's been going on? What's going on in the Goodman household? Well, we got a, got a wedding coming up. My daughter's getting married in no March. Wow. So there's a lot, lot of planning involved. A lot of planning. Congrats, congrats. My idea... My idea of planning a wedding is finding a huge, empty garbage barrel, dumping about 10 cases of beer in there and throwing some ice on top. <laughs> but my <laughs> wife wants napkins and stuff like that, so yeah, I'm letting her do it. Are you, uh, are you doing, a, are you gonna make a speech or do that father of the bride stuff? I'm, I'm sure I'll have to. Yeah. I'll find some. I'll crib <laughs> something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're uh, we're halfway through uh, January, John. Did you did you make a New Year's resolution at all? You... <laughs> I I, I kind of gave them up uh, by now, but over the the course of the last two years, I haven't been exercising, and I can't use COVID for an excuse anymore. So my wife uh, for Christmas bought me a rowing machine. Yes. Yeah, it looks swell. It's got a TV on it and everything. <laughs> so I, I could work on that and. Uh, Watch TV at the same time. <laughs> have you done it? Yeah. Have you have you tried it out yet? I got it out of box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I did. I did it this morning. It was a, a guy teaching you how to work a rowing machine with a TV on it. And uh, that was about 13 minutes of talk and two minutes of exercise. So I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> John, I've, I've said this before. Uh, I, you're one of my favorite actors, and I, I, I say this: that if you see John Goodman's name on a poster, that means you're uh, you're in for a, a treat, a great movie, a great project. Anything I see, I go, John Goodman's in it. I love it. It's it's, it's, it's you know, I, I, and, and and it's always a fantastic performance. Uh, but I was going to ask you, John Goodman, do you have a favorite John Goodman performance? I. I... Usually the movies that I have the most fun on are the ones that stiff at the box office. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like, uh, I guess, Big Lebowski. Yeah, everybody Lebowski, likes. Yeah, it. is that? <laughs> yeah, had a uh, lot of fun. The uh, the Big Big Lebowski uh, when it first came out, it was not really. It was like mixed reviews. It wasn't that big of a hit, was it? I guess I I really don't remember when it came out, but I I. Usually don't read reviews because they hurt my feelings real bad. Yeah, of course. So smart. smart. I didn't. I didn't know how it was received, and I, I didn't pay any attention to, you know, the entertainment journalism. So I, I, uh, I knew we did something good. If it, it just felt great, and I knew we had a terrific script, so I wasn't too worried about it. So it, yeah. it lives on. Yeah. Did, when, did, when did you realize it was like because because now it's like people, people they dress up as you and they, I mean. It, it, people when I reenact it, there's festivals now. Yeah, I, I realized it was popular when I had guys dressed like me showing up at my house with crap for me to sign. <laughs> uh, you know, we have Cecily Strong on the on the show after you. I know, I know, we love her. Uh, I, I, but and I and I read this somewhere, and I'm curious about this because I've known you for a long time. Did you once audition for Saturday Night Live? John Goodman. <laughs> John Goodman, you did? In, in 1980. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's not that I had any material to show or, or anything good to do. I just I just knew they'd hire me just for my first, because I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> wow. And, well, you it's the worst thing I've ever done in front of people in my life. I, just, I wrote something about 15 minutes before I went over there and... Oh, yeah, I, God, he's still awful. thinking about it. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? He's still thinking about those awful things. You're like, why did I? It was so embarrassing. Yeah. But you didn't get cast, but you went on to host 13 times, buddy. Come on, one of the best hosts yeah. in the history of the show. That would be, that used to be the favorite thing I'd do every year would be Saturday Night Live. I just, uh, they always made me feel at home. And 
you're with a bunch of smart and funny people, and it, it just feels great. Yeah, I've done a bunch of fun things, great things. That's where I first met you. Uh, do you remember we did one once? It was you were hosting, and Tom Petty was musical guest. And the I think T. Sean Shannon wrote it, or maybe Smigel, I'm trying to think. But the monologue, you came out, and then I asked, there was questions from the audience, you know, that bit, where you go, yeah, yeah. I don't have any questions. <laughs> She's so, I just think it's so funny. <laughs> and then before we start the show... <laughs> Before we start the show, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> and someone <laughs> stood up. <laughs> but someone stood up and they go, uh, I just wanted to ask you, is this a, is tonight's show a repeat? <laughs> and you're like, no, no, this is this is a new show. This is Saturday Night Live. We're live right now. So this is not a repeat. And they go, I think I've seen this show before. It's you and I've Tom Petty. Yeah. And then I stood up and go, yeah, I actually have I've seen this show. It's very good. It's a funny one. And you're like, no, I <laughs> And we went into that, this... was, that was Adam McKay. Was that Adam McKay wrote that? Yeah. Wow, yeah. McKay, I love that. Oh my gosh! And look, look at him now. He's crushing it, huh? With the movies. Absolutely. He's man. brilliant. He used to write some great bits to bomb in. He, he, <laughs> he Will Ferrell would get together and write something, and if they <laughs> sniffed that it was bombing, Will would just pull the push the throttle <laughs> forward. And go yes, for exactly. It. We're gonna kill everybody in here and take them with us. Yeah. Do you remember, like, even, like, I remember Will doing a bit that was not working and, and the cast, who were not even in the sketch, would just go <laughs> out to the floor to watch him bomb? <laughs> because it's so entertaining, it's so funny to watch. You're like, oh, my gosh, this is tanking. No one is laughing. It is terrible. And he was like, it was just so fun to watch. And he would do it. He would take his extra time and really milk the it. Kid, the kid's an artist. <laughs> he is an artist. Uh, John, when we come back, I want to talk to you about the Connors and the Righteous Gemstones. More with John Goodman after the break. Hey, hey.